Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and this is episode number 46 of our Pacific Campaign on War on the Sea. Uh, we are under attack, our transport convoy with uh, troops and supplies has run afoul of some Japanese bombers. We have Hellcats in the area. Uh, moving out to uh, deal them a pretty bad hand of cards, I would say. Uh, torpedo bombers are not really something I'm overly concerned with. Um, even if the Hellcats do overshoot them on the first time, they are fast enough that they can uh, turn and make it back in. I don't know where this guy's going. But his uh, squad mates or his uh, wingmen are definitely in a position to shoot one of them down. And the other one's down. So, like I said, I'm not too worried about it. These Hellcats are awesome, I have to say. Hellcats of the Navy, baby. Anyway, transport convoy moves along with their supplies. Um... Okay, where the hell's our carrier? I know we got a carrier. There we go. There's our carrier. And her pilots did us good to start out episode number 46 right. So, to back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. Flight of two comes in on us. Uh, this time it's the Arcturus, the lone sacrificial lamb, the Arcturus. Uh, let's have some smoke here. Uh, she's really in rough shape, so uh, getting out of this might not be an uh, easy task for her. But they are, unless we get a lucky. Uh, Lucky shot in, they are both going to uh, get into position and drop here. You can see the bombs falling. Did try and turn the Arcturus to give her some chance, but I'm sure they already dropped here. Whoops. Little bit of damage there. Wildcats are, I mean, Hellcats are in the area. Um, we're gonna let these guys go in and shoot down that the uh, two planes uh, just to get them out of my hair for now. Um, Arcturus survives, and the Hellcats move in. So, not bad, not bad. Uh, we did have a uh, like you saw, one strike so far didn't pull the uh, Arcturus. Our trick didn't work. Um, the other three air attacks on Arcturus, I came into the map and floated around for a while and never saw anything. So There they are out there. I'm going to give you the order to fire. Might even take a manual control of you here. Oh, maybe I should have just left it up to the AI. Yeah, go ahead and attack. Try not to get shot down. Uh, come on, guys. There we go. All right, good. 
Good deal. Let's see how fast they fly away. Pretty fast. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, wow. Well, I got the time compression on, too. Yeah. Well, that was a bomb of a scene. All right, two more down. That should be it for them for the day. Uh, let's see, 4 o'clock. Uh, we are... Let's see, where are we here? Transport 3 is moving in. Uh, Transport 3 is 2 hours out. That'll be 6 o'clock. That'll be perfect. 12 hours out, 4 o'clock in the morning. Not ideal, but Task Force Mac is also here, so they're going to... Charge in there and do some damage. Hopefully, it'll uh, knock them down. Got them down to a level four, maybe a level three. Um, like I said, this transport convoy has a whole lot of supplies, so they got to get in there because um, we don't have any. Twenty thousand troops. They don't have any supplies. They're throwing rocks at the Japanese. Crews aboard the ships of the transport convoy line the decks to watch the Wildcats and the Hellcats move in on the latest attackers on their long and dangerous journey to Rabal. This time the Japanese sends three slow moving torpedo planes. Their work is cut out for them if they expect to get to the convoy. As confidence among the pilots grows, so does the admiration among the crews of the transports. With each successive attack that gets thwarted, they feel safer and safer. Although, they know they are never going to be truly safe until Rabal is in allied hands. Alright, 10 o'clock at night. Task Force Mac. What we can do it. What did I say it was? Level 4, level 3. Two, level 3. Might as well go all the way here. One and one. We did uh, increase our uh, the balance of power here. So, good job, Task Force Mac. Don't you come back to rearm? <clears throat> the ball is now rubble. Uh, our transport convoy is. Let's get a more direct route in here. Seven hours out. Yeah. All right, well, they've got their planes that are going to be desperately needed up there. Um, our replacement carrier, <coughs> the Wasp and the Block, are still quite a ways out. Um, Barnes is making her way back. Ollie with the uh, troops here. We got 49 command points. I did get a suggestion that I, I think I'm gonna actually start doing is moving as much as I can out to uh, Wake Island here. Um, just uh, kind of deposit them because I think how the game works is uh, you can only have 2,000 troops, 500 supplies and engineering at a time. Uh, so if you have 2,500 and uh, 500, you don't get any more. So, uh, Wake might not cut that much time off of it, but it would definitely get the stuff out of there so that we can um, get more on a weekly basis. Also, another suggestion uh, was uh, more submarines north of Rabal. Um, kind of in between Rabal and Truck. Uh... 
So I'm actually going to do that because it's a really, really good idea. Thirty-five. Wow. Forty for the Sirkoof. I like this. Your the Sirkoof with the uh, eight-inch gun. That that's a nice, nice gun. It is. It really is. But the problem with Sirkoof is uh, torpedo range. Three thousand two hundred eighty-one yards. Um, and she only carries twelve. So. I'm hesitant to spend that much, that many uh, command points on the Sirkoof, just because um, of the low range and the low amount of. Uh, see, what can we do here? Again, well, they're here somewhere. Oh, yep. All right. Well, Ambor class, Gato class, they're all thirty. The Bailao class. Someone specific I want. There's the Wahoo. If I can't find, uh, there's the Ho. We could get the Ho. It'd be nice if I remembered what the name of the sub was. It's up in Buffalo. I'll take every opportunity I can to mention the Buffalo Naval Park and how you should go there at the first opportunity you get. And yes, I am sitting here looking it up on my phone. Croker. It's the Croker. Is Croker not available? Ah, did, oh, really? Kind of weird. These guys aren't even available, but there's a lot of them. 108. So we'll go with uh, the Wahoo. Mush Morton. That leaves us with 19. I don't think there's anything else we can get in terms of submarines. I know. I don't even think the other countries have cheap subs. 35. Yeah. All right, so, whoops. Uh, broker. I mean, Wahoo. You're going to come up. It'll be a while before she gets there. 156 hours, that's a while. There's the Wahoo, Mush Morton, Dick O'Kane. About to take the fight to the enemy. Uh, with our other 19 command points. Let's uh, find something that's... Carry a lot of troops. 1,350. 1,640. All right. You. C3. Grab that. A lot of, a lot of supplies. Had to wake. These guys are just going to run back and forth. Uh, I'm going to hold them in position and um, link them up so they can just do 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 do, -do take engineering too. Uh, fuel will pull off with uh, our fuel convoy when we actually have a fuel ship we can use. I don't even know how much these things are. 78 fuel, Patapsco. Seven command points, imagine that. Just what I have. <coughs> All right. Ah. Go. 
fuel. Might take you a couple trips to get there, but... Oh boy. Well, let's take a look at the Patapsco in the dark. Ain't she pretty? I see why I cut a lot of this stuff out. <clears throat> That's one beefy ship. I guess uh, Patapsco head on down. We get enough here. We could uh, upgrade to uh, level 4 airfield, even. Why not? But I do want to start focusing on uh, this area here. I may launch like a surprise attack on uh, one of these islands at some point. Uh, just because I think having two uh, bases under assault at the same time might throw the AI for a little bit of a loop. So uh, we'll have to see how that works out. But we're going to get our supply transports in and uh, out. Or as far out as we can before they come under attack. And uh, see what that does for the... Uh, Balance of power on Rabal. We're about 50% there with 20,000 troops. So, all right, here we are 15 minutes before air operations are available. Oh, we got more troops too. All right, well, I didn't realize I grabbed another 2,000 troops, but this is the easy way. All cargo unloaded. They're 10,000, so that's about half. All right, get out. I don't think we can pull supplies from anywhere else except for... Uh... Yeah, I'm leaving the supplies there for uh, what we need them for to rearm. And the same for here. All right. So... Ah, look at that. It's kind of nice. Unfortunately, we don't have any more troops to pull from. Uh. Oh, yes, we do. We could add another 2,000 troops. Or 3,000. But we have at Port Moresby 1,200. I don't think I can pull any more off there unless I put them on destroyers. Uh, they're going to um, grab those troops and bring them up to Rabal. Uh, actually, you might want to send this Macaulay down there. Yeah, I know. A completely unescorted transport. <laughs> but, oh, I mean, we may already have the base by the time they... Uh, transport gets down there. So. And then the next uh, next time we get some um, ships up there is uh, these guys. We can do that. Base Force 1 is uh, dedicated to Bottle Canal and uh, Shortland. And hopefully by the time they get up there in a month or two and then back down uh, sometime in the middle of 1943, we'll be able to uh, give them enough engineering and fuel to uh, keep our air base here. That'll leave uh, Kavang and Lay, and the Solomons will be ours. But might be time to start thinking about my diversion here. It was actually an hour and 15 minutes before these guys. All right, and as you heard, it cut off in the middle of a sentence there. So uh, I've been having issues with the mic disconnecting from my computer. It's plugged in and all that, but um, it does disconnect. Sometimes it makes a noise. Bloop, bloop. Sometimes it doesn't. That time it didn't. I just kept babbling away without any clue in the world. You guys couldn't hear me. So I do uh, actually come back into the seen in commentary form uh not too far in the distant future so you can kind of guess what i have in mind going through all this and maybe make up your own story or whatever
it would be kind of few and far between on the episodes, so. But we'll uh, try and keep this interesting for you. There's one, that flow plane there. Alright, moving in. We've got some up high, some down low. We haven't lost anyone yet. Go ahead and open my fire. There's one. Microphone keeps disconnecting for some reason. That could be problematic if the thing dies on me. We'll have to start screaming at my computer screen again. It's where my microphone is. I think I've come a kind of a long way since I uh, first started doing this. My went back the other day and looked at my. Um, first episode of my first War on the Sea series, and it was just embarrassing. I was using, uh, my Bluetooth that I use for my job as my microphone, and it just didn't work too good, so. And I was brand new to it, and brand new to the game, and... But I do think I've come a long way, and, uh... Coming up on 1,300 subscribers now, so do very much appreciate everybody's support, and I hope you guys are really enjoying the, uh, the content I've been putting up. Much as these guys enjoy killing Japanese. 10 out of 10 down. Oh, there we go. Good job, pilots. Earned your pay for another day. All right, here we are. Milne Bay with Transport 3. I don't want to pull all of the troops off of there because it's going to wipe us out if we do. We'll leave 397 troops. Not sure I feel entirely comfortable with that small amount of troops there. Uh, no task force 41. Head back. All 4,000 more troops. Transport 3. Head back. See how we we're doing. Oh my god, look at that. We already used 4,000 supplies. But look, it's blue. We have it. Didn't even see the notification. We have her ball. Ah. We have her ball. Well, shit. Now we need engineering and fuel. What is Guadalcanal? We just rearmed Task Force Mac. Um, wow. The ball has fallen. Okay, and in true war on the sea fashion. Whenever the Allies make progress, a full-blown convoy materializes out of thin air as if it was just somewhere off in here waiting for us to take Rabal. We do have Thresher in the area. Uh, we're going to move up with Thresher. Uh, I have launched a flight of Wildcats to escort these B-17s. That are moving in. Um, 
don't think we have any offensive aircraft. We do. Avengers. And it's right at 510, too. So this came... Uh, one Mark 13 torpedo. I didn't know Hellcats could carry torpedoes. Um... Send them out with this. Can they even reach it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So we'll launch our Hellcats. And then... I renamed them Solomon Express, by the way. We're gonna launch nothing for the time being. Uh, let's get the Hellcats moving. I know I wasn't going to be able to launch. I would have waited. Um, but Thresher's going to move in. Let's see for a second what happens here. Uh, uh. Are they even moving? I guess they are. All right. Hopefully Thresher can uh, intercept them here. They say El Tahama. Yes, they did. All right, so these guys are going to go in with torpedoes. And these guys are going to escort the Avengers. The... That was a problem. Pressure may be too far out of position. And our planes are here now, too. All right, well. I guess we're going to do this. What we come up with. Silly me thinking this was going to be the standard run-of-the-mill convoy that we would be just damaging a few cargo ships. Silly me. Very silly me. We haven't seen her yet. And there she is. There she is in all her glory, too. Oop. Vanished. Uh, our B-17s. Are going to be the ones that hit. Uh, we have six B-17s, so three of them are going to form up. The three others are going to form up. Uh, they're going to go in. 
yellow squadron is going to target. Let's identify here while well, we have the time. This is a scary convoy. Not going to lie, it's a scary, scary convoy. Not a submarine. That's really, really not a submarine. Yeah, it's not letting me see it for some reason. Oh, maybe because they don't have any. Uh... Nagato. All right. Well, three of them are going to be targeting the Nagato. The other three are going to be targeting Yamato. And they're going to go in individually. Eh, this is crazy. All right, well... Our first attack is going to move in right now. And we got a little bit of time, so I'm going to make sure everybody's bomb bay doors are open. Make sure everybody is targeting who they need to. And we're going to sink the Yamato, or the Nagato. At least one of them. I don't even remember what I armed these guys with. I think it's, uh, I think I did, like, four semi-armor-piercing bombs. And I'm really not sure why, they, why they're still only at 3,000 feet. I had them set... Or climb to 8,000. Right. Oh, well, that's a lot of bombs falling. Get you moving. Oh, we did hit her. These guys... Okay, well, the first group is going to attack from low altitude. I barely... Minor and minor. All right, so that's the plan for this group. We're going to need help if uh, we can't do some serious damage to these battleships. One, two, three, four, five hits. Barely scratch the paint. All right, this group, I'm going to have them come out and then come back. We're gonna drop a little bit in front of the bullseye just because, uh. Oh, wow, that's a bad angle to be coming at. Because there are so many bombs. out of here. There, that was a little bit better. Alright, so now we know what we need to do to uh, 
get a full series of strikes on Yamato. Drop minor and none. I know there was a Yamato and a Nagato in this group. I would have uh, come with a little something with a little more punch to it. Now I saw the uh, the icon is like, well, that's probably a, a light carrier and some cargo ships. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. All right, same approach. Bombs are away. That probably wasn't the best run. It's just kind of... It, you could almost see him bouncing right off her. You can almost see him bouncing right off her. Alright. Bombay doors open. Oh, and in case you're wondering... Where our sub is. Our sub is 20,000 yards out. And not going to participate in this attack. But we are going to send them all in individually on Nagato. Same as before. Maybe Nagato's a little, uh, a little more flimsy than the Yamato. Not even smoking down there. Uh, Task Force Mac is not going to engage these guys. Uh, Tar Heel Strike Group is more than likely going to have to come over and take up, uh, Take up Task Force Max position. 26 knots on her. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to drop in front of the bullseye here. See how we do. Looking pretty good. He is a uh, we are pretty far above the uh, convoy now, so we want to uh, increase the distance between the bullseye and the bullseye just a little bit. He's running straight, so we got that working in our favor. Ready, drop. Please score some hits. I'm begging a video game to give me good success here. There we go. All right, she's smoking. So next. Next plane. We're going to get in, uh, drop our bombs. Um, moderate and minor. Minor and none. We're already getting their damages fixed, so... All right, guys, let's uh, at least put one of these battleships down.
Okay, so we know what we're going to be up against going forward. Uh, to say the very least, uh, Shortland, you do have some pretty, pretty heavy hitters on Shortland in terms of planes. Um, <coughs> but they aren't exactly fast, maneuverable, or sturdy. Uh, we do have uh, our six Avengers moving in. We have Hellcats with them with rockets. Probably not the best armament for what we're going to be facing. Uh, but they're going to move in on the attack. Uh, right now, I want to pull the Thresher back like this. The Wildcats, I'm going to have them... Patrol up like this for now. The flying fortresses still have a ton of range left, so I'm going to pull them like this and do this. Alright, they're gonna be patrolling like that. These guys are gonna make their attack. I'm going to keep Truant over here. Uh, Task Force Mac, we're going to send you a little more direct route. I mean, if we have to engage him with Mac, we're going to have to. Uh, two battleships like that, they can't be left to their own devices. But our heel, they are on their way over. Um... Eleven, twelve hours they'll be there. So it's uh the name of the game is Stall. And unfortunately Damn. Man, I don't wanna I don't wanna blow through all my uh Dauntless's rate. I don't even know if they'd have the uh, range. They do. 544. 24 of them. Mariners from Shortland. Or 1,000 pound armor-piercing bombs. Uh, they'll probably get there maybe about the same time. That's if we don't lose them. I really didn't want to get Wasp's air group involved in this before they even make it to the theater. But we have made progress. Rabal is uh, technically in our hands. Kitty Hawks, Lightnings, and Beauforts. Just got to stock up the base. Well, that was an uh, unexpected turn of events, but I would say we're going to have to take the uh, negative with the positive. So we got a major, major threat around the area of Rabal. But Rabal is in American hands, so we're going to be... Uh, dealing with that going forward. Uh, Enterprise is one day out, so we'll get Enterprise back, and she's going to be... She's going to be unescorted, but she's going to head out. Nothing I can do about that. I'm not going to keep her in midway and wait another four or five days for more command points. She has to get down to the front. Um... Even the fact that I haven't seen any Japanese submarines in this campaign yet, um, I'm going to take that chance. You can always fend for herself in terms of getting attacked by air, but we're saying that, having said that, now these submarines are going to show up. But we know what we're going to be doing for the next couple episodes, so if you guys are enjoying the series and the episodes, hit the like button. That'll help uh, with the algorithm. 
and my ego. Just kidding about that. If you think it deserves it, hit the like button. If you want to follow along, hit the subscribe. If you have any tips or advice or general thoughts, leave those in the comment section below. And we'll pick this up in the next episode where hopefully we can put one of those battleships, at least one, on the bottom of the ocean. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.